the most toys coming at you again today and here we have another character introduced in the 80s uh, um, cartoon movie the transformers and uh, this is the speedster blur he's a courier uh, he was voiced by john Machida jr who still probably holds the record for the fastest talking dude around used to do micro micro uh, machine commercials as well and all kinds of other good stuff and he talks really really fast um so blur was kind of annoying to some people but uh it, it was kind of a cool gimmick that he talked fast he walked fast he was fast car anyway so this is my lego version and this is a speedy cybertronian car it's very slick kind of looks like scourge and we will maybe use some of these ideas to redo our Scourge in the near future as well. Comes with a giant rifle. I don't know if you ever used that in the show, but the toy had a rifle in the front end, turns it to a shield, and we'll see that in a little bit. So you can see the car mode. It's pretty slick and pointy. And uh, you can see the boosters and what will become the head and everything later on. Um, so there is Blur in his vehicle mode. And if you really want, you can also, I left a stud there so you can put on his gun, just clip it on there. For usage, then you don't have, you have weapon storage, you don't have to worry about it. So without further ado, let's transform him into his rollout mode, which I think you will find really cool. Okay, so we've got his rifle. And of course, like the original toy, if you are that old to remember, or your parents, I hate to say it, you just wanna move <laughs> these guys the side panels out of the way. And you want to unclip um, these two ratchety joints from the actual robot. And did I put it on too tight? Oh, there we go. Got it off. Anyway, so popped it off. But um, yeah, so here's the what will become the shield. So we'll put that on the side for now. And as you can see, it's pretty much the robot is kind of folded in upon itself. Um, but it looks really cool. So to transform him, you want to unfold him. Make sure that crotch piece is nice angled perfectly there. And pull what will become the legs out. You can see where this is going. Take his feet around 90 degrees to the front. And you can stand them up like so. From there, you're going to want to bring back this section, which is the head. And you can just push it down a little bit on the ball joint. Going to need a little clearance to um, get up there. I'm going to now rotate your arms around like this. Do the same on the other side. And this color, if you have a sister or yourself have lots of friends stuff, this is where you'll find this color. And of course, if you want instructions for this guy, you can get them um, on our website. He will be BLO1 for Blur. And you can check it out and get instructions if you like, um, along with our other crazy characters there as well. So you can click the link below, go, be, go, go to bwtmtbrickworks.com, and you can click the link below to get to our catalog. Um, you can see him here in his robot mode. It's pretty cool. Pretty thin and lanky, because he should be, because he's supposed to be speedy. That's kind of the look we were going for. And he's got ball joints everywhere, so you can do some nice poses. Ball joints in the knees, ankles, wrists. And then, of course, we can put on um, his G1 homage weapons, which is a long rifle. And you can just pivot down those ratchet joints and put on the shield. So that's pretty cool. As I said, he's got lots of posability. So he's pretty cool. And how does he stand up with my other figures? Um, let's take a look at, I just noticed he looks like Mega Man anyway, but that's the same era video games. And here's him with the Sharktacon for scale. And he scales, he's about a brick, not even. He's, a, he's basically the size of my other car robots in this mode. Uh, like Rodimus and so forth. Do I have Rodimus handy? Or oh, Hot Rod, sorry. And you can see Hot Rod, just a little taller, but they're almost the same. Basically the same. Car, car modes, robot modes, I try to keep, the robot modes I try to keep the same unless they're bigger. 
um, like you may have seen our recent Springer. He's just a tad bigger than this guy, just because he was in the show. Um, again, you don't need to use the shield if you don't want to. Get it out of the way. And as I said, you have superposability, so you can make him run. Run, jump, whatever you want. Which is pretty cool. And swivels at the waist, the head, and everything else. And because of the waist, there we go. So it's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, you guys can't really see that. But you can see, you can, you can pose them. Pose them how you like. He's pretty good to go. He's nice and light, so the ball joints act really nicely. You can get some good poses out of them. Oops. I lost his cod piece. Um, that'll happen if you're not aligned. So just just note for you guys. If you overstress his him, he will pop his cod piece. I don't know if that's a good thing. I guess sounds like that'll hurt. Anyway, so there he is. Um, there's Blur and his colors. As I said, if you want instructions for this guy, you can go to our website. Click the link below to bwtmtburkworks.com. Click on buy instructions and he will be in the small bots as BL01 for Blur. So guys, I hope this inspires you to build your own crazy creations, transformers, or otherwise out of Lego. Until next time, everyone, happy building. We'll talk to you soon and take care.